Now from the night team escaping a gator's grip and reliving the terrifying moments, an animal handler on the wrong end of a nasty bite. That attack unfolding in front of spectators. Tonight, the man who survived, survived the wild turn of events is talking about the fight of his life. The night team's Alexa Helms has the story from Hollywood. Now you might be surprised to hear this, but the animal handler tells us he was never actually scared for his life while the alligator was biting him. He says he was scared he might lose his hand, but tonight he is at the hospital recovering with all four limbs. My mind was 100% on getting out of his mouth. 22 year old Will Nace recovering in the hospital just one day after he was bitten by an alligator. He was doing a demonstration with the reptile for friends and family at the Native Village Wildlife Sanctuary in Hollywood, just like he'd been doing three to four times a day for the past year when the gator did something he had never done before. He ended up lunging at me before I got to his nose. So my hand happened to be right in front of his face when he lunged up. Um, basically grabbed my hand and bent it backwards and bit down. This is a picture taken at the moment the 800 pound gator bit him. Nay says he was prepared and knew how to stay alive and save his hand. And uh, held on basically because he decided to roll one way um, and he pulled me back all the way in the water, rolled with me. I was completely submerged under the water with him. And then uh, by the time he came back up around the other way and I was back out, back out of the water, um, he had let go. Nay says he does this job to educate people about the wild animals and you may be surprised to hear that he doesn't blame the alligator at all. Showing them what a bull alligator is, basically, and uh, I just wasn't on my A game yesterday. The alligator Nace tempted is 13 feet long and weighs 800 pounds, the largest one on the property. The alligator broke Nace's arm in two different places and ripped open his skin, starting from his palm all the way up to the middle of his arm. I felt like when my, you know, my wrist broke and stuff like that, I felt the bones break, but I still, that was not my, my first concern. My first concern was getting him at least off me. The animal handler says he's not shocked. They are wild animals. It's not a matter of if you'll get bitten, it's when. Now he will be fighting an infection and he most likely will have to get skin grafts, but he says that as soon as he can, he'll be back in the pit handling those alligators. Reporting from Memorial Regional, Alexa Helms, 7 News 19.